Morning, Rachel. Morning, Emma. Morning. Any word from Martindale Publishing? No, but they said they'd get back to me in two weeks, and it's only been 13 days and 21 hours since we met. Their decision just isn't cooked through yet. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this, okay? Your baking blog is mwah, It's perfect for a cookbook, and they would be crazy not to want to publish it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> ah, shall we start our day so our customers can start theirs? Oh, we shall. Go get him, Jerry. That promotion is yours. Good morning, Louise. The usual? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. What'll it be? May I have a scone and your phone number? Of course. There you go. Call or email, and we'll respond with a quote ASAP. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you kidding me? What? He was cute. I know, and he might have us cater for him. Oh, Emma. Here you go. Oh my gosh, Rachel, it's an email from Martindale. Emma. Oh my gosh. Hello, ladies. Could I trouble you for an English breakfast tea and a scone, please? Of course. <laughs> Although, perhaps something a bit more exotic on my last day in town. You can't go wrong. I bake everything myself. Oh, you're the baker. I'm staying at the Hotel Nissoise down the block. I'm obsessed with everything they serve in their cafe. I even started eating cake for breakfast so I could try everything. <laughs> when they told me it's all from the pale blue dot, I just had to come see for myself. I'm so happy you like everything. Well, if you like this, you need to check out Emma's blog, Pinch of Perfect. I will add it to my reading list. Okay, so I will do the tea and a scone, please. Great. Actually, uh, one of everything else, too. I want my family to try it all. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Yes, it went well. We'll be back tonight. See you soon. There you go. That should do it. Yep. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Kindly. Okay. <laughs> What does it say? Um, they said that they love the recipes, but the content is a bit dry. What? I don't get it. She says all Martindale cookbooks must have a unique point of view, and mine doesn't have anything to say, so it's a pass. Let's go get a drink. There are plenty of boutique lifestyle book publishers in the sea. I can't believe my cookbook got rejected for things that have nothing to do with cooking. I'm sorry, um. Who are you? I'm a baker. 
I spend all of my day at the bakery and then I go home to work on my baking blog so that I can publish my baking book and now I'm being punished for baking too much? Well, I think... Stop dribbling, Michael Jordan. Stop painting, Picasso. Stop dancing and doing crunches, JLo. Okay, comparing yourself to all-time icons of popular culture. I love the confidence. You know what I mean. I think I know what Tilda means. People don't want to read a list of steps, right? They want to feel like their friend Emma, the amazing baker, is with them, teaching them how to bake. You know, like you did with me. I live my life by a list of steps. I don't know that I can do it any other way. We need to tackle this one bite at a time. You need some life experiences and to get out of the bakery. Hmm? What about going on a date? Hmm? Who would I go on a date with? What about that cute customer from today who asked for your number? I thought he wanted to place a catering order. That's because your whole world revolves around baking. Touche. I appreciate the attempt, but love does not fit into my recipe for success right now, so let's keep thinking. Oh, well. Okay, I'm headed to produce, where I will try to produce hmm, some ideas. Oh, man. This is the last one. Look, uh, I really need this flower, and I'm on a bit of a tight schedule. See, the thing is, I also need it for... A children's birthday party? <laughs> I just need it, okay? Fine. Um, I'll pay you for it. Excuse me? Yes, that's what, $7? I'll give you 20 for it. I'm in a big hurry, so... Well, then maybe you should have planned better for whatever it is you're making. $30. Not interested. 50 You're really used to getting your way, huh? Well, not as often as you would think. Look. It's been a really bad day, and I need this flower to make it better. Fine. <clears throat> First time baking? You know you're not supposed to use that type of flour, right? I know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. OK, well, enjoy your gritty cake. Enjoy your bad whatever you're going to make with that People just don't have grocery store etiquette anymore. Do you remember Bananagate 2019? How could I forget? I can't believe you turned down 50 bucks, though. We could have used that towards a new oven fund. Your new oven fund. I think the oven is charming. More like charring. Sorry, we're closed. Isn't that the woman from this morning? Sorry, miss, we're closed. May I just come in for a moment? Uh, I have a proposition. Well, you can always place an order on our website. My apologies. I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm just a stranger barging into your lovely shop. Kind of. My name is Princess Alexandra Batcher of the Kingdom of Synovia. Pleased to make your acquaintance again. I'm Emma Morton of the Pale Blue Dot. And this is Rachel Jones of Astoria. To what do we owe the pleasure? Well. I'm hosting a 40th anniversary party for my parents. The king and queen of Synovia? Correct. <laughs> it's going to be an intimate multi-day celebration at our family's vacation cottage, culminating in a banquet with their closest friends. I would be thrilled, Emma, if you would bake your wonderful creations at all of the events. I've been through your entire blog, and you are exactly what I'm looking for. Wow, well, I've <laughs> never catered a royal event before they're be some extra logistics for shipping. And but I think I would like you to travel to Synovia to be the head pastry chef on the premises. That sounds like a really big job. No bigger than serving your patrons between here and the hotel. It's just that we're so busy at the bakery and I have my blog and I'm actually working on Emma, a cookbook. Emma, we are taking your blog international, darling. Yeah. International. This is my offer. This was by us a very nice oven. <clears throat> this is a very enticing number, Your Highness. May I think about it? Of course. Let me know by tonight. Oh, so a few hours. Great. Mm -hmm. Tell me, is that little one spoken for? It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. I love her. International! <laughs> okay, what could go wrong? What if a vendor messes up an order? What, what if the oven breaks down? Um, I have been at this place by your side for years. I know it like the back of my hand. It will be fine. 
This is what Martindale Publishing was talking about. Getting out of the West Village, living a little, getting inspired. Plus, check out Alexander's older brother and future king of the Synovia. Hmm? Single and looking for a queen. My recipe for love definitely does not include a prince or anyone from a job, and it's not happening before I publish my cookbook. I don't think you guys would get along anyway. He's clearly a playboy, and you, you deserve someone who appreciates you. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sorry, no horses, no Henry, no Henry and horses. Uh, large coffee for Brian? Oh, Brian. Uh, here you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, and um, Emma says hello. Can you please focus on running that place? Are you following my instructions? Yes, I am. Uh, yep, I'm sticking to them uh, diligently. Is this a new scone recipe? What was that? Sorry, you're breaking up. Gotta go, good luck. Emma, welcome to Synovia. Oh. Let me show you around our quaint little country getaway. Yeah, it's quaint, all right. Thank you. Well, as you can see, the place needs a bit of a makeover. You say in your blog that you love the classics? Well, this family loves the classics. I think it's charming. For a museum, this place is stuck in the 1800s. And I'm not just talking about laying new carpet. It is about ushering in a new era for the family, the monarchy, and the country. I want Synovia to be a global leader. I want our family to have a better relationship with the citizens. I want our name to appear in the Times for our humanitarian work, not just in the tabloids when Henry's spotted with another love interest. <sighs> My mother was the first ruling queen of this country. And while I will likely not hold that title, I plan on using my degrees from Harvard, Oxford, and the London School of Economics to continue the tradition of powerful women in the monarchy. It is a big reason why I brought you here, Emma. Your baking is exquisite, yes, but I love your story too. Really? What is my story? Self-made entrepreneur and businesswoman on the verge of a career breakthrough. You think that's my story? <laughs> I need you to be my PR woman. Speaking of PR, to kickstart this whole plan, I have a journalist from Marquez Magazine dropping in throughout the week to write a profile on the family. I love Marquez Magazine. It's like if Vogue wore a tiara. Oh, well, if your baking is as good as I'm expecting it to be, you should be featured in the article. That would be amazing. Oh, pardon me, I have to take this, but please explore your workspace for the week. Bonjour. Excuse me. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was... Flower girl? Flower napper? What are you doing here? I was invited by Princess Alexandra. What are you doing here? This is my house. Are you a gardener or something? Why would a gardener be using the oven? <clears throat> Heating up your lunch? I, I don't know what the rules are for gardeners. Wait, what did Alexandra invite you for? Oh, excellent. You two have been acquainted. Uh, Ali, uh, who is this, a friend of yours? Apologies, Emma. Is my brother being rude? That seems to be his default disposition. Your brother, that's not Henry. You're right about that. Uh, that was not a compliment. Oh my, bantering already. How fun. I have a feeling you two are going to work wonderfully together. What, what are you talking about? 
Well, Ollie, this is Emma, our head pastry chef for the week's festivities. And this is my brother Oliver, our guest chef for the week. Together, the two of you will create amazing meals for our guests, impressing one of the foremost journalists in Europe, and setting the nation on a path to a larger global relevance. <laughs> Seems like an oversimplified path to diplomacy, no? I'm just getting started, brother. Emma, come with me. You are a prince? Surprise. Ah, Emma, allow me to introduce you to our guests of honor. This is my father, King Simon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Emma. Welcome to Sonovia. Thank you kindly, your majesty. <laughs> and my mother, Queen Evelyn. Hello, your queen, my queen. So, you are the great American baker Alexandra's been going on about. That is a very generous title, but I guess that's me. Alexandra, what is wrong with our pastry chef from the dedication gala? His bistro has a Michelin star. As I've said, Mother, this is not only a celebration of you and Father, but it is also an opportunity for us to show a fresh, modern side of the monarchy. And for what it's worth, my bakery has a four-star rating on Yelp. What is a... Yelp? Isn't Yelp a person? Oh. Oh, and never mind. I am thrilled to be here, and I will make sure that this is a very special occasion for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, we must find some time to conduct your interview with the journalist. Oh, goodness, that silly thing. We'll talk about it at dinner. It was nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You too. Well, I think that went well. If you say so. And here are your quarters. So just feel free to get settled, and I'm really looking forward to dessert tonight. What's that now? Oh, we always have dinner at 7 p.m. sharp. Gotcha. Great. I'll see you in a bit. And do not worry about Oliver. His bark is worse than his bite. <sighs> oh, I have to take this. Hola, Miguel. What's so funny? Oh, your coat, it is so white. Have you worn it since graduating culinary school? <clears throat> no, I bought it for this trip because I thought I'd be working with a professional. So sorry to disappoint. What are you making? Pheasant stew, father's favorite. You? Carrot cake. May I? Be my guest. You know, mother loves a carrot cake. Oh, good. And she has very high standards for it. Oh, good. Well, hello there. What is it? The kitchen should have everything you need? All the measurements here are different. Oh, right. You Americans insist on using unrelated and arbitrary terms like feet and yards and cups. All of my measurements are in American, and I don't know how to switch tablespoons to grams. Well, just eyeball it. Uh, no. What, do you need to use your GPS to get to work every day? I take the subway. Oh. Okay. Battery. What is it? Nothing. 
Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Can you figure this out? Figure this out. Eight, eight, eight ounces of cups. Six, oh, 16 ounces of cups. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe if you stare at it harder, it'll cook faster. Dinner is served, family. serve that to the hounds, much less a king and a queen. Stupid metric system. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Okay. Cut into quarter inch slices. Um, inches. Um. Uh oh, on to plan B already? Well, you better work fast. They're gobbling up their dinners. <laughs> I must say, you are incredibly helpful. Oh, what can I help you with? I don't need any help, thanks. This recipe doesn't call for red wine. <laughs> ah, huh. the moment we've all been waiting for. I trust the kitchen was to your liking? Absolutely. I've gone from pale blue dot to bright, shiny pots. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I decided to compliment Oliver's... Prince. Oliver. Right. I decided to compliment Prince Oliver's hearty meal with something light and refreshing. So I've prepared an autumn harvest fruit medley. Oh. Come on. <laughs> This is divine. And good instincts, I'm quite full. Mm. So, baker can cut fruit. Evelyn. Well, I was just expecting the baker to bake. I have this for breakfast. Your Majesty, my apologies. Thank I'll... you, Emma. This is delicious. And I'm sure you're only just getting started. Mmm. <sighs> Wonderful. Simon. How did it go? Peachy? Ha, ha, ha. This day can't end soon enough. You looked hungry. I uh, brought you some stew. Thank you. I'm a really good baker, you know? Yeah, OK. Pale Blue Dot is a West Village staple, and I bake everything in there. OK. And we supply the pastries to the hotel where you stayed. Oh, that's funny. I never saw sad carrot cake on the menu while I was staying there. That was an aberration. OK, your metric system really threw me off. Well, maybe if you got your nose out of that notebook every once in a while, you'd be better at trusting your instincts. See, that's why my bakery is successful. Going exactly by the book leads to the exact same delicious result every time. Almost every time. So what, no recipes allowed? That's what you learned at whatever fancy culinary school you attended? Well, no. My Parents would never allow me to attend school for something so lowly as cooking. Well, then where did you learn? Here and there. Very well, your mysteriousness. I should get to bed. Uh, I'm going to go into the market in the morning, pick up a few things for Alexandra's tea party. Would you care to join me? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Uh, 7 AM? <laughs> right. The baker's rise with the sun. Um, nothing will be open then. All right. Nine. It's a date. Time, 9 AM is a time. You're correct. It is a time. Good night. Joy dreaming of conversions and measurements. I will. Oh. The metric system really does make a lot more sense. Maybe, but don't they drive on the wrong side of the road over there? So it evens out. OK, enough about measuring. Tell me about Oliver. Prince Oliver is rude and annoying, and he thinks he's extremely clever. I mean, his stew is good, but he knows it's good, which is just so rude and annoying. Yeah, sounds rude and annoying. Yeah. I can't believe I have to share the kitchen with him all week. Well, does he look anything like his brother? How are things going over there? Are you following my instructions? 
Yes, I am following Queen Emma's recipe for bakery success. Okay, I know that's the oven. You need to bang it harder. Harder? Harder. Oh my gosh, somebody's at my door. What do I do? Answer it, weirdo. Mm. This is it. I'm getting fired. <sighs> Good evening, Your Majesty. Hello, Emma. Oh, have I disturbed you? I'm sorry to come calling so late. Uh, no, not at all. Enjoyed what you served at dinner. I imagine you were exhausted after all your travels. I'm sorry we put you straight to work. Oh, that's why I'm here. And I promise not to repurpose the Queen's breakfast for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Splendid. I have come with a favor to ask. Now, I imagine you have plans for what to bake for the anniversary party, but I was hoping you could help me with a little surprise for the Queen. Of course. Are you familiar with the dessert? Baked Alaska. Mm-hmm. It's the queen's favorite dessert. And I was hoping that in addition to what you're preparing, you could make it to serve to her at the party. Absolutely. What a sweet idea. That's excellent. She will be thrilled. Thank you, Emma. Oh, and uh, may I say, I'm glad you're working so well with Oliver. I know um, the boy can be quite strong-willed. We are two peas in a pod. Hmm. Indeed. Well, good night, Emma. Good night, Your Majesty. Oh. Emma. Emma, is he gone? Yes, he is. Did he just say what I think he said? Uh. Oh, yes, he did. Well, that's just splendid. Why? Morning. Good morning. Nine o'clock. Nine or seven, actually. Uh, so it is. We're supposed to go to the market? Yes, we are. I will just finish this. Good puzzle? Uh, it is. Could you uh, tap a little more quietly, please? Yep. Actually, I can do this. I will finish this later. Oh, okay. Yeah, wonderful. So I'm making scones, a sponge cake, madeleines, petit four, and a trifle. Nice and traditional. That's what your sister wanted, right? Sure. OK, I don't know this market, but I'm thinking I'll need about 45 minutes. Meet back at the car? Not factoring in any time to wrestle away flour from anyone? Ha ha. It's your plan. Oh, I think I'll peruse a little bit, see what's fresh first. You don't know what you're making? The party is in four hours and 25 minutes. I'm just not into making cute little finger sandwiches today, so I guess I know what I'm not making. It's a bold strategy. You know what is not a bold strategy? Staring at that little book and missing out on all the wonderful ingredients. I'm not missing out. I just know what works, and I know what I need. Guess you're not curious about what could work, so I guess curiosity did kill the cat. Hey, I'm a curious person. I'm curious about a lot of things. I'm curious about how vinyl records work. I'm curious about who decided to name oranges oranges, but when it comes to baking for a group of royal ladies, I put my curiosity in a drawer. I don't want to say curious again. It sounds really weird now. You know what I'm curious about is if you can include one new ingredient into your baking. Like what? Oh, I'm not telling you. This is a bet. Yeah. 
I will pick one ingredient which you must include, which I will only give you when we start cooking. Fine. And when I win, you have to tell me where you learn how to cook that's made you so confident. And if I win, I get to peek inside that little book you're so attached to. <laughs> After all that, you want to peek behind the curtain? Deal. I'll meet you in there. I just want to check in with Alexandra. Uh, I can take those for you. Why, thank you, kind sir. I may be rude, but I am a gentleman. <laughs> Alexandra, this looks incredible. Oh, thank you. Yes, just a little get together. Is everything okay? Yes. Just mother's friends are so particular. One tiny thing out of place, and it's all I'll hear about all afternoon. And again, once they leave. Mothers, right? Yep. I feel so silly. I mean, I have degrees from Harvard, Oxford, and the London School of Economics, and here I am nervous about throwing a tea party. Excuse me? Funny how there's equal pressure for a daughter to impress her mother as there is to impress a group of dignitaries, duchesses, and a queen. It'll be great. You were impressing a princess back in New York and you did not even realize it. I guess you're right. It's gonna be great. Yes. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, big improviser, what have you decided to make? What if the market looked fresh? Oh, I'll be making tea party inspired flatbreads. You're making pizzas? Totally different. How so? Not entirely sure. Aren't these ladies expecting finger foods? It seemed like Alexander wanted a super traditional menu. Emma, you are looking at someone who has attended countless tea parties, both real and imaginary, and all at the behest of Alexandra. These ladies have eaten a million little dainty cucumber and turkey sandwiches. They need a change. Trust me. OK. Speaking of change, the bed is on. You better get your origin story straight. Let's try this. Use a little more sugar. Oh. Needs a little more ink. Feel good? Oh, no pistachios. Dang it. Everything okay? I have outdone myself. What is it? I can't tell if they like anything. No reaction is a good reaction, trust me. The only time I have ever seen any of these ladies show positive emotion is when Hugh Grant came to Henry's birthday. Well, that would be exciting. I just hope I didn't screw up any of the measurements. Unacceptable, completely unacceptable. I knew that was too much cinnamon. Oh, not good, not good. Was it the scones? Were they too moist? You 
just had to try something different, Oliver. Are the ladies not enjoying their flatbreads? Too spicy, too messy, too everything. Do you know what happens when white satin gloves touch red sauce? Well, the gloves serve their purpose and protect the person's hand. Disapproval. If those ladies can't handle one red pepper flake, then what do they know about food? I didn't like that, Oliver. Oh, come on. I'm serious. You've never had a, an angry customer? Of course I have, but not because I blatantly disregarded them. Ah, don't worry. You're not gonna get fired over something like that. Look, I want to do better than just not getting fired. This is the biggest opportunity of my life. If I do well, I'll be put in the magazine and I can finally get my cookbook published. And that has been my dream since... Look, I know that this doesn't mean anything to you and you're just playing around in the kitchen, but this no, is... No, this means something to me too. Well, you're not acting like it. <sighs> okay, it's just my whole life... Henry has always been the golden boy and Alexandra's always been the overachiever and I've always been nothing. You know, stuck in the middle. When I discovered cooking, I found my identity. That's good, right? Working in the kitchen isn't considered a particularly royal pursuit, so I guess I've been trying to prove my family wrong for a long time, which may have caused me to cook spicy, messy pizzas for a bunch of very proper ladies. I suppose there's a lot baked into this job for both of us. Well, speaking of baked, can you keep a secret? Emma, I'm a royal, it's in my DNA. The king has requested a special surprise dessert for the anniversary party, a, a baked Alaska. Ooh, how American. Just wait until I try it. If you thought today was a disaster. Oh, Emma, the great American baker has a weakness? Hey, I have tried it, but it is ice cream, it is cake, it is melting, it's on fire, it should be illegal. Well, maybe if you got your nose out of that notebook. Uh, no, 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 there is a writable, steppable recipe for this. I just haven't figured it out yet. Mm -hmm you say so. But I suppose I could use some help in the figuring out department. That I can do. It was fun to do something different today. I guess you can say our bet turned out to be more of a draw. Well, then don't think of this as a prize. Think of it more as a thank you for dragging me out of my comfort zone. If you ever decide to write something down. Thank you. Hey, how about this? How about I teach you how to write a proper recipe for a big group and you help me with my baked Alaska? Deal. Yeah? Oliver, it's time for your interview. <laughs> Royal duties call. See you later? Yeah, I'll pencil you in. <laughs> Oliver, this is Halora Sinclair from Marques Magazine. Pleased to meet you, Your Highness. Oh, no, please, uh, call me Oliver. Halora has agreed to not include the Tea Party mishap in her piece. How gracious of her. Uh, don't worry, sister, I won't sully the family's name on record. <laughs> of course not. I'll leave you to it. Mm -hmm. So, Oliver, how do you feel about your brother becoming king? Oh, okay, we're jumping, uh, we're jumping right in. Um, uh, well, uh, I think Henry will make a fantastic king. Sorry, were you going to eat this? I'm famished. Every time I tried to eat at the party, someone pulled me into another conversation. I'm really, really sorry no, about the pistachios. No, Emma, I should be apologizing. They were a fun flourish, and I was just... What do you call being in a bad mood due to hunger? Hangry? Hangry. Yes, I was quite hangry. And I was also mad at Oliver for being so stubborn, and hello, witnessing everything was just not great. Got it. The most frustrating part, Emma, is... And all those women just look at me like I'm this pretty little princess who dreams of finding a prince and hosting tea parties all my life. I'll have you know, I have degrees from Harvard, Oxford, the, the London School, School of, of Economics. Economics. Exactly. And I bring more to this family than gossip about whose wedding was underwhelming or scandal from 50 years ago. Or why I'm not married. Well, I can't imagine it's hard for you to find a love interest. I haven't got the time. I mean, of course, I'd 
want to find love someday, but it's just... It's just not in your recipe for success at the moment? Exactly. Moving forward, just stick to what you make at the bakery. And don't let Oliver get under your skin and do something outrageous. Your baking is excellent, and it is exactly what I want everyone to experience at the party. Absolutely. Understood. Now, off to hear what my mother thought of the party. <laughs> Have fun. I'm glad you're here, Emma. Care for some more tea? Mm, no, thank you. So, what do you like most about being a prince? Uh, well, the uniform's pretty stuffy, so definitely not that. Although I do get to carry a sword for certain ceremonies. There are many royal responsibilities that simply involve showing up at dedications and ceremonies, galas, which I do not love. The press has dubbed me the broody one. Um, <clears throat> I do enjoy the philanthropic bit, though. I, I appreciate that I get to travel the world and meet all different kinds of people from different backgrounds, help them any way I can, however I'm able. I guess you could say I appreciate having the privilege of helping people, if that makes any sense. Wonderful. We'll end on that. Thank you, Oliver. Um, speaking of privileges, I'm working with this woman, Emma, She's a fantastic pastry chef from America. I can't wait to see what she cooks up for the anniversary party. I think you're going to want to write an article about her. <laughs> I'll make sure to save room for dessert. Top of the morning. Ready to write some recipes? We're gonna need a bigger cup. Okay, what are we starting with? I was thinking a bolognese. We can get fresh meat and vegetables from the market. Great, write it down. Right. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just seeing what we have. No, 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 no. You are writing down what you want to put in. Right. Right. <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long day. That's why we got up early. OK. Um, green peppers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Don't forget to write it down. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Choice. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Close. Yes. <laughs> so, what do you think? Excuse my French, but I think this menu kicks some serious butt. Some serious cul. 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 I think the king and the queen will approve of this menu. You do not think it's too safe? Well, I think it's contemporary, but it honors tradition, and most importantly, it's delicious. Thank you. And you managed to make a similar tasting sauce twice in a row. See what happens when you write things down? Consistency, your majesty, is the name of the game. Chef, you are correct, chef. Oh, no, that's a weird, not cute. Oh, so you think I'm cute? No, I said the bow was actively not cute. I didn't say that you were cute by default. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> well, shall we get some fresh air while your perfect baked Alaska sets in the freezer? <sighs> yes. Oh. You're telling me that the best pizza in the world is in New Haven, Connecticut. Don't knock it till you tried it. Oh, I'll be sure to try it if I'm ever in that area, because I can't imagine what else I would do in New Haven, Connecticut. That's where Yale is. Oh, Alexander didn't tell you. We're more of a Harvard, Oxford, London School of Economics kind of family. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> so where's your favorite pizza place? Some famous Michelin star chef in Italy? Well, it is in Italy, the birthplace of pizza, I might add, but it was far from fancy. A uh, far from fancy doesn't just mean no white tablecloth. Touche. My family and I were on this humanitarian mission in this little town just outside of Milan. And I went for a walk, which I was specifically told not to do. Well, I got lost. I wandered around for hours and hours until I finally found this little hole in the wall restaurant, no sign. Now, I only wanted a glass of water, but the owner, he took one look at me, and he cut me a fresh slice of pizza straight from the oven, and it was the best thing I have ever tasted. And I was famished, so that might have had something to do with it, but... Oh, gosh. The moment of truth. Yep. Here goes nothing. The vanilla is vanilla-y. Why can't I get this right? I followed everything to a T, even the notes on my notes. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with this? Whatever you want. Look, you taught me the importance of sticking to the script, but sometimes you really have to toss it aside. That blob right there has the ability to be the best thing you've ever tasted, but you don't get there by measuring how far to stretch it or how high to toss it. It's, it's all about feel. Here, you try. I don't think I'm ready to toss dough yet. I'll, I'll try breathing it. No. What? No thinking, no counting, just let go. And you're pretty good at that. <laughs> well, I had a lot of practice. Uh, Alexander was always begging me to braid her hair when we were kids. I never thought it would come in so handy. Now, which of the childhood memories are going to come in handy for my baked Alaska? Uh, maybe the time that Henry and I built a fire in a snow fort and his jacket caught on fire. <laughs> Hello? I'm here for a royal extravaganza. Who is that? 
Henry. <clears throat> oh, what a wonderful surprise. Mm, well, I was in Monaco and I thought, what am I doing here when I could be spending quality time with the king and queen before their grand festivities? Delightful. Welcome home, son. Thank you, pup. The Prince CEO. <laughs> Keeping everyone on task and in check? Uh, as much as I can. Little brother. How are you, Ollie? Good to see you. Seems like you haven't burned the place down just yet. No, just waiting for your arrival so I could blame it on you. <laughs> Touche. And who's this? Uh, this is Emma Morton, our wonderful head baker for the week, all the way from America. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Morton. I'm Prince Henry. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Emma. I'm sorry you know that. Um, I am such a mess. You look ravishing, especially given the fact that you're pulling double duty, baking and babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, will you be joining us for the dedication this evening? I don't know what it's for, but I'm dedicated to this family, so absolutely. Oliver, this is now a family affair. I would like you to attend as well. Uh, well, I have some more preparations. For... You will manage. I'm not in the mood to make an excuse for your absence. As you wish, Mother. You go ahead, I can clean up. Your Majesty. Great meeting you, Emma. Likewise. Excuse me. Lovely. Okay, dish it. Prince Henry came early? Completely unannounced. Huh. Seems like that never happens with him. Okay, tell me everything. Right. I spoke to him for like 30 seconds. He's very... Future kingly. Mm-hmm. And handsome. He is unimpeachably handsome, that's for sure. But I sense some tension between him and Oliver, though. That's just how brothers are. They're probably goofing around and catching up as we speak. <sighs> orange and white chocolate, blueberry ginger, coffee and model seed. Orange and white chocolate, blueberry ginger, coffee and model seed. That does not look like baked Alaska. <laughs> this is, I don't know what you would call it, but making it calms me when I'm stressed or scared. Semolina flour. <laughs> you caught me on a bad day in New York. Hmm. When I was little, I used to bake with my mom. She was an incredible baker. One day, I insisted on making a souffle. And by souffle, I meant combining brownie mix, cake mix, and semolina flour. <laughs> My mom went along with it because she was the best. You keep saying was. She passed away when I was 13. Oh, 
am um, sorry. Thanks. It's okay. I use her recipes at the bakery and that makes me feel close to her. I guess that's why I keep my nose in my notebook all the time. I just got so used to sticking to the recipe, her recipe. I guess that kind of thinking made its way through my entire life, just safe, measured, and methodical. Like, if I did something different, I'd lose her. It's totally understandable. All right, it's ready. The oven is off. Oh, we learned pretty quick that this doesn't go in the oven. Ah. <laughs> mm. This is so good. You have to serve this at the anniversary party. No, I couldn't. It's, it's weird, it doesn't cook well, and I don't think it fits with anything. Suit yourself. I love it here at this time of night. Do you creep around in the middle of the night often? This is when I learned to cook. Really? Yeah. I got my love for cooking from the palace chef, Reuben. He used to work late into the night, and one night I made a princely command that he teach me how to make grilled cheese. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I mean, the other royal children could barely pour a bowl of cereal. I bet they were jealous. Yeah, they teased me. Pretended like I worked for them, but I did not care. Cooking was so fun and, and messy and creative, the complete opposite of royal life. Well, it became my dream to go to culinary school and open a restaurant. But then I got caught up in my relationship with a princess and those dreams just faded. And then we began to talk about marriage and suddenly those desires to open a restaurant came flooding back in. She did not react well. She wanted to live the traditional royal life, and she broke it off. It caused quite a rift between our families and between me and my family. How does the story end? It feels like this is my last chance to prove to them I'm serious about being a chef. Don't say it's your last chance. They're your family at the end of the day, and they love you. But maybe now it is a good time to tell them. I mean, it's always a good idea to tell people how you really feel, right? It is. Mm, I think it's my bedtime again. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the menu a couple more times before bed. You need to get your nose out of that thing every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Emma. Tomorrow is, is going to be great. It is. Good night. Good night. Are we opening up a last minute recipe? Oh, nothing for you to worry about. How are you feeling? Good. Excited. Ready. How about you? Me too. Uh, I was thinking that after the tasting, you and I could go... Good morning, chefs. Good morning, Henry. And to what do we owe the pleasure? I hear there's an important event taking place this afternoon. A tasting of sorts. I wanted to give you fair warning that I will be in attendance. That's wonderful. Is there a problem, Ollie? Should I not be on the selection committee? Not at all. It's just I was only prepared to cook for three, so I'll have to go to the market and get a few more things. Good morning, chefs. Oh, my, we have ourselves a little kitchen consortium. We are on schedule, yes? Well, I have to go to the market and get a few more items. Ollie, Halora is arriving shortly for your second interview. Completely forgot about that. Um... I can go to the market for you, Ollie. Really? But don't you have your prep to do still? I'll manage. And I would be happy to escort you into town. Emma's already been to town, it's so... It's really no trouble. Oh, I insist. I am the reason for this errand, after all. Plus, I'd love it. Stroll through town. Be amongst the people for a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Uh, we'll leave in ten? Perfect. I'll be ready in nine. Uh, 
And I said, that is the last time I hiked the Alps in desert boots. <laughs> it must get difficult being recognized everywhere. It's mostly fine. Only an occupational hazard when I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. Like hiking with the wrong boots? Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of occupational hazards, how is it working with my brooding brother? We're starting to work together really well. I think the king and the queen will be pleased by what we're cooking up. Well, that is excellent to hear. And hopefully it will help Oliver get this flight of fancy out of his system. What do you mean? I'm sure Oliver has told you of his dreams of being a chef, but what you must understand is that Oliver has a long history of interests that are his passions until they're not. Okay. As children, he loved archery, then football, then woodworking, then the drums. When anything got too difficult, he'd just give up. Every kid goes through phases. In the third grade, I wanted to be a pop star slash astronaut. This has continued as an adult. So my mother insisted that Oliver do the cooking for the party. I believe it's her way of expediting the inevitable. Which is? Well, that Oliver will eventually find a career of being a chef too difficult and finally come around to accepting his royal status. Why are you telling me this? I love my brother, but I would hate to see you get hurt at Ollie's expense, professionally or otherwise. And selfishly, I would like him by my side when I become king. <laughs> oh, it's so late, we should get back. Sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late. Uh, look at this. I thought I'd be your sous chef for a little bit. Thank you, I really appreciate it and I'm sorry again. No, I'm impressed. Seems Henry can even draw the most staunchly prompt people behind schedule. I did my best. Everything okay? Yes. Yeah, we should get to work. On the drive into town, I read an article about the best pizza in the world, and guess which city in Connecticut made the list? You cannot believe everything you read on the internet. Hmm. How did the interview go? What's wrong? I'm sorry, I, I did not mean to look. It just popped up. Oh my gosh, Oliver, this is so wrong. I, I meant to tell Hello, you. chefs. Laura is ready to shoot. Are we on schedule? Oh, and mother and father have to leave promptly? We're on schedule. Excellent. Shall we begin? I... Yeah. Excuse me. Do you need the oven? No, thank you. Um... Sorry. How's it going? Everything looks great. Uh, fine. Um, sorry, I just I really need to focus. Of course. It's gonna be great. Wow, look at all this. Hmm? Oh. Well, have you been hiding Reuben back there? <laughs> I can vouch that he is not. Uh, for past hors d'oeuvres, we have a mushroom ragu on a crispy polenta with conch cheese, mm. parsnipped wrapped devils on horseback, and a Spanish style tomato toast. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oliver, these are delicious. Mm. Oh, top notch, son. The Spanish toast is muy bueno, hermano. This will do very nicely, dear. Great. Um, for the first course, uh, I have prepared a prima piatti in honor of mother and father's favorite country to visit. <laughs> On the left, we have a gnocchi in an arugula basil pesto, 
In the center is a pear ravioli in a cream sauce. And on the right, we have a tagliatelle and a rustic bolognese. Oh, how clever is that? <clears throat> Speaking of Italy, mm. Carnivale in Venice this year was a dream. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, um. <clears throat> oh, I've got a little pear seed in there. <clears throat> I think it's missing something. Or has far too much of something. It's as if it's both undercooked and also burnt. But the pasta is al dente, and um, my apologies if I overcooked the meat. Shall we move on to Sakandi? Here we have a lamb chop with an Indian flair. Uh -huh. That is a celery root puree and charred broccolini to accompany. like you're taking me on a journey around the world, but on a commercial flight with layovers. Excuse me. Must I send you children to your rooms? Sorry. My apologies. I'm still tweaking the recipe. I tasted so. it yesterday, and it was amazing. Oliver, you can't expect me to serve experimental gastronomy to our guests. Of course not. Um, it is just that... Shall we move on to dessert? Mm, I would love that. I was just only prepared to cook for three. If Henry hadn't showed up, then maybe, um... Oliver, you will be cooking for a large number of people soon enough. One extra person is not the greatest excuse in this situation. It's a spirited performance, my boy. I'm sure you'll have it all buttoned down in time for the party. Thank you, Father. Um, thank you, everybody, for your constructive criticism. Um, so, I've prepared a few different cakes for you to sample. An orange and white chocolate buttercream cake, a coffee and wattle seed lamington cake, and a blueberry ginger mascarpone cheesecake. Mmm. 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 Mm. These are fantastic, Emma. Bravo. Mmm. Oh. I probably gave myself a heap of cavities. I ate so much of this in New York. Mmm. <laughs> I would like to go with this first option. Just delicious, Emma. Your reputation is well earned. Here to hear. Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm. This one is divine. Mm. Brava, brava, brava. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Did she pick the buttercream? Yep. Mm. Always a traditionalist. I don't even know why I bother. It wasn't that bad. Oh, yes, it was. Oliver, that picture of me and Henry. No, you don't need to explain. What I feel like I do because... It... Because... Because this was it, Emma. My chance to prove them wrong, to show them I'm serious about being a chef, and I was humiliated. Oliver, I'm sorry. And meanwhile, you're off gallivanting with, with Henry. No, I was in town for you. No matter, it's my fault. The first time I ignore my gut and this is what happens. What do you mean? The, the rigidness, the lack of life, writing every single thing down, that, that is not who I am. That is who you are. Before you came along, I, I would have never been so flustered to the point of failure over something as small as, as a tight schedule. I was just trying to help. I know, and I appreciate it, but maybe this was a mistake, all of it. Go talk to him. Ollie. That was not your best performance. I know. I'm sorry, it's just... Are you okay? Emma did not deserve that. What happened? 
Well, essentially, I blamed her for why I screwed up the tasting, and, um, well, I was really upset over this. Gosh, Ali, that is why we block that site. Remember when they claimed Mother was a lizard? I know, I know. It's most likely nothing, fabrication. Or once again, Henry swoops in, bends the world to his will, and gets whatever he wants. Ali. I will talk to her. Good. And I'm signing off on the menu for the party tomorrow. Really? I saw a lot of potential there. It will be great. Now, come on. And then he said that this was all a big mistake, and he stormed out. Gosh, Emma, that sounds awful. I feel terrible. If only I'd gotten back sooner or, or not tried to make him do things my way at all. No way. Do not blame yourself. You didn't sign up for this. You went over there to bake some cakes, and a few days later, you appeared in a tabloid. Oh, I've gotten so caught up in the family drama. I haven't even thought about the blog or my cookbook once. I wonder why that is. Why are you saying it like that? Emma! Come on! You have feelings for Oliver. Feelings of frustration, maybe. He, he drives me nuts. Like. What do I do about what Henry told me? I mean, I feel like a liar if I don't say something to Oliver, but I feel like I'm meddling if I do. I mean, that's a tricky situation. What am I supposed to say? Henry told me that your entire family is just waiting and hoping for this chef phase to pass, because every other phase has, because you can never commit to anything. And yes, I had fun at the market. It's not my fault that Henry is funny and charming. But... So was Oliver. He really liked my souffle. Emma, you don't let anybody taste your souffle. Oh, okay, fine. I like him. <laughs> You're so into him. I am putting it on the back burner until after the party. So many feelings. Oh. In. Emma, we have a problem. Oliver left. Into town? He has left town. What do you mean? Oliver quit. He will not be cooking for the event tomorrow. What? Why? I have no idea. He just left a note that said he was sorry, but he doesn't belong here, and that this is what's best for everyone. Is it true? What? Has he flown the coop? So it seems. Wow, that's a shame. I mean, it's not shocking, but it's a shame. I know Oliver can be flighty, but this is beyond what I would ever expect from him. Emma, he was going to talk to you. Did something happen? Did you tell him what I told you? Of course not. Henry, what did you tell her? Well, you know, that Mother sort of insisted that you hire Oliver to cook. And that this sort of outcome wasn't entirely unexpected? Henry, that is hearsay to such a degree that I can't... I did not tell him. I might have told him by accident. I told my friend Rachel about it in my room last night. I don't have time for this. I need to find someone to cook for our guests on 24 hours notice. Henry, go find your brother. Emma, save your energy for tomorrow. Take the rest of the day off. Our guests may have extra room for dessert. Good evening, Your Majesty. Royal formalities are suspended while wearing pajamas. When Oliver was a boy, he would come down here late at night to help Reuben, our head chef. I thought maybe he had come back. I'm really sorry that he left. I feel like it's my fault. Oliver was acting on his impulses long before your arrival, dear. Yeah, I've gotten that sense. I do not know where we went wrong for things to come to this. May I speak 
In accordance with your suspension of royal formalities? You may. Maybe the reason Oliver doesn't stick with the things he tries is that he feels like you don't approve of them. I do not know where he would get that sense. It's just, Henry told me about Oliver growing up and then being here for the week, it seems like- When Oliver wanted to be a drummer, we bought him the nicest drum kit a boy could ask for. When he mentioned culinary school, we did not forbid it. And when it came time for the party, I did not command Alexandra to hire him, hoping he would fail. I suggested she choose him, hoping he would succeed. I just, I feel like there's a large gap between tolerance and support, you know? Go on. Oliver just wants you to be proud of him. I am proud of him. But your majesty, maybe Oliver doesn't feel like it. I'm sorry. No one has spoken to me like that in quite some time. I apologize. I, I, I needed to hear it. I am so accustomed to expressing myself by my actions. I build a community center to show the citizens I care about them. I dedicate a statue to honor someone who... That's your love language. But I think that Oliver needs something different. If there's one thing that he's taught me, it's that there's more than one way to reach the same goal. Well, this kitchen is stocked with lots of lessons, it seems. It's very exciting. It'll be great, right? Oh, uh, this is Reuben. Note the healthy glow. We pulled him from his beach vacation to be here. And I'm thrilled about it. <laughs> Reuben's hilarious. You'll see. <laughs> so, Reuben will be making a traditional Synovian meal. Best we could do on short notice, but nobody makes it like him. That makes sense. Will you be making the white chocolate and orange buttercream cake? Or all three, as Henry has suggested? Ah, oh, I haven't even looked at this thing since the tasting. Yeah, the queen did select the orange and white chocolate buttercream. The recipe for love is always changing, rearranging, adding things. What can I bring? It writes itself on the fly with no plan, it dies. You need fun and trust and laughter and crust. You make a fuss, you don't realize you're cooking the recipe for love until they're gone. And you realize with watered eyes, burning insides, that they're your secret ingredient. Emma. I'm sorry, what? The cake? Change of plans. I'm running to the market. For what? Whatever looks fresh. Hi. Bye. It's gone into her. Signora Oliver? Yes. Telefono. Thank you. Hello. 
Let's do this. Alexandra, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. And how are we doing in here? Splendid. Uh, Reuben, your Synovian feast is looking a lot different than I remember. Ah, these are some interesting choices by my princely protege. I was inspired to give them a go. Oh. <laughs> and is that part of what Mother decided on? It isn't, but everyone's going to love it, I promise. OK. Seems Oliver rubbed off on everyone. How fun. If I hadn't been getting ready for the last two hours, I'd be pulling my hair. Alexandra, it's going to be great. Trust me. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you pulled it off, sister. So it seems. The food has been exquisite. And it turns out Holly may know what he's doing after all. I wish he were here. He would have such fun making jokes about everyone. I know. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you all for attending Queen Evelyn's 40 years of patience with me. <laughs> <laughs> From the moment I set eyes on Evelyn that first day at university, I was in love with her. But she was a princess and I was a lowly law student. <laughs> Albeit, it should be said, first in my class. <laughs> and I somehow got it into my head that I couldn't take Evelyn to my local pub on our first date. So instead, I got a job on campus, and I saved up all semester to take her to the fanciest restaurant in town. Well, the date was going wonderfully. In other words, Evelyn was laughing at all of my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> to further impress Evelyn, I decided that I would order baked Alaska for dessert, and as an added gag, I thought I'd get a little close to the flame. Well, I leaned into the flame a little too much, and I singed my eyebrows straight off. <laughs> for that outrageous stunt, I thought I'd lost Evelyn forever. But the very next day, she showed up with a fur hat to keep your forehead warm. <laughs> it made me almost forget he didn't have eyebrows. <laughs> I knew right then and there that Evelyn was the woman for me. So what do you give a person who has everything? Well, you start at the beginning. Ah. Wonderful. <laughs> I would like to first acknowledge our fabulous baker, Ms. Emma, whose cake you will all soon enjoy, and whose bakery, The Pale Blue Dot, you must visit if you are in New York City. <laughs> and thank you to my dear son, Henry, the future king who's keeping us all charmed and entertained. <laughs> Next, an enormous bravo to my daughter, Alexandra, who organized all the festivities. This phenomenal dinner was dreamt of by my son, Oliver, who could not, who could not make me more proud. And now to our king. 
I would have loved Simon if his eyebrows never grew back. <laughs> he is sensitive, thoughtful, kind, and brilliant. And I am forever grateful to have him as a partner for all these many years. So cheers to my dear husband, who risked bodily harm for the second time on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Excellent work this week, Emma. Listen, I'd love to write a secondary piece about you to complement the profile, if that's okay. That would be amazing. Great. I'll find you later. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, better late than never, son. Father, mother, happy anniversary. I am so sorry that I... I love you, son. And I am so proud of you. I am sorry I did not tell you how I felt. Thank you. And I am not ashamed of being a prince. I just needed to get there on my own. Well, does this mean you'd like to be our new house chef? No, actually, I'm going to open a restaurant. It's been a dream of mine for a long time. Huh? That's wonderful news. It will be a great success. Thank you. Excuse me, I have something to take care of. I, um, aim to bring you your journal back. Thanks. I didn't realize it was missing. Look, um, I know I can be frustrating and impulsive, and I know you had big plans this week, and I threw a wrench into them. Prince Oliver, this has been one of the most stressful weeks of my life. I know, I know. But I'm glad that I got to spend it with you. You made me laugh and have fun in the kitchen, which I'd forgotten is the reason that I loved baking in the first place. And I'm sorry that I tried to make you do things my way. It's a lesson that I've needed to learn for a while, and it turns out you've made me a better baker. I'm sorry that I left. Did you plan that? No, that was spur of the moment. It's kind of my thing now. Oh. 